Hi there, my name is Vince from Mr. Telephone, and today I'm going to talk about the Boxcon 201. Boxcon stands for Box Connection, and it's this fella here. It's a uh, 20 pair block, so you've got a 10 pair strip and another 10 pair strip. The size of the box is. Right, so if you can see there, it's about 100 and, uh, 118 mil wide, and the height of it is about 100 and, 168, 168 wide. You can get two different depths of box. This depth is normally sufficient for uh, for most of your purposes, and it is uh, about 50, about 53 mil, 53 mil in depth. Okay, so it's uh, yeah, it's this one here, box con. Now, if you have a look, this particular one is fully loaded. You can get them loaded and not loaded. The ones I sell in my eBay shop are fully loaded. Uh, the, if it's not loaded, the strips you need to buy, they're called strips 237A. So that's 237A. And if you need to get these little label things on top, they're called strip designation 51A. So 51A, strip designation 51A. And the idea is you can just write down either the telephone number on it or the, uh, you know, if it's identified by numbers, it can be like one, two, three, or you can write, if you're installing it in your house, you can write people's different names on it. It's just to let you know what each pair is. As well as that, it's always a good good idea to write it on the lid here. If, uh, if you can see, you've got the uh, A and B, so that's the A, 10 pair and that's the B10 pair labeled 1 to 10, 1 to 10 there. A lot of people just label them 1 to 10 and then 11 to 20 depending on how the, the uh, box con is uh, manufactured. So this one here, this is done with the A. You can probably see the A there and the B there. So this is the A strip and this one is the B strip. Again on this particular one if we take the, the 51 A's off I'll leave that one on. If you can see, one side has numbers, so this one is numbered one to 10. Yeah, and uh, the other side just has black markers. So the incoming cable, we'll always put the incoming cable on just the black marker side, and then the engineer who comes along to connect up the telephone lines can then put it on this side here. And when you put your label back on top, Put it so it hinges over the black marker side so when you open it up the engineer can still terminate the wires without having to keep removing this strip because then when he puts it back on he might put it on the wrong way around and then it will be confusing for the next person so always do it with the hinge side of this over the black marker so when you've terminated your fixed wiring your fixed cable then uh, you pop these ones on now on this one if you can see it's done so the black markers are on this side and this side so this side and this side. Sometimes they're wired so the black markers are in the middle. I, I actually prefer the ones where the black markers are in the middle because then you can bring your incoming cable up and you can just terminate all the inside wires on the inside and then the outgoing cables can go on the outer strips here and here. But the way this box has been wired up, maybe because sometimes people like to do them horizontally like so, so uh, it's been labelled up with the uh, black markers on the top and the bottom if you look at it horizontally. But either way, it doesn't make a difference. All you need to know is that your incoming cable, so if we pretend that this black cable here is the incoming cable, it needs to be wired up on the on the marker side. So when you're stripping back the cable, this is only a four pair cable. I haven't got any 10 pair cable or 20 pair cable to show you, but when you're stripping back the cable, always use the drawstring so you don't damage the inside wires. When you're dealing, if you were to de be dealing with external telephone cable, it wouldn't have a drawstring. So if I'm just going to point the camera down now. So we've got plenty of knockouts. If you can have a look, there's knockouts there, there's knockouts there, there's knockouts at the top, down the side. If you look here, you've got knockouts on the lid here and the other side as well. So there's plenty of knockouts to put your cable in and also plenty of places to put your cable tie in. So your cable ties, you've got a couple couple at the side there, top and bottom. 
So with your cable ties, you just feed them round like that, and then you put your cable in. You can tie it off. Oh, that cable tie is just broken. Oh well, you get the idea. You put the cable tie in, and uh, it connects it to that like so, and then you have to connect up the wires as per the uh, telecom colour code. So uh, in this instance, it's going to be blue's the first pair, orange is the second pair, green's the third pair, and brown's the fourth pair, because I've only got four, four pairs here. You can have a look at my YouTube video. I've done another one about colour codes. So I'm just going to quickly terminate these just to show you. Always put the white wire up top. And now we do the orange pair on pair number two. Again with the white wire up top. Okay, as you can see, so I'm bringing the blue pair on the number one, the orange pair on the number two. I'll just quickly do the green and brown. And lastly, the brown will go on number four. If you were doing ten pairs, the next one, pair five, would be the white and grey. And then pair six would be the uh, red-blue. And then pair seven would be the red-orange. And so on. You work your way down. Again, you can watch my YouTube video to find out the colour codes for bigger cables. Okay, so that's how you terminate it there. So the main incoming cable goes up the middle on this one, onto this one, and then if you were to terminate this side, if it was a 20 pair cable, the other 10 pairs would come up the side here and terminate going down here, again, on one to 10 down the bottom. Zero means 10, obviously they couldn't fit the one and the, uh, one and the zero, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then zero, but zero means the 10. Uh, so that's it, that's, uh, so in this example, we've only got a four pair cable, so we've terminated a four pair cable, we now put the strips designation 51A back on with the hinge side there. And then uh, the, uh, the, the, the next person who comes along can now wire up the internal wiring. So let's say if it's a block of flats and this is, a, this is also called a DP, distribution point. Pretend now that this is uh, underneath the stairs, you know, in a riser cupboard. So you've got the main incoming cable terminated and then the engineer that comes along will terminate the wire. Pretend this is a, a master socket now go in in one of the flats, so you would have all these cables reeled up, reeled up in the uh, understairs uh, in the riser cupboard, and then what you would need to do is, you tone out your cable, you find it, and then you would terminate it on, so the master socket should be wired up on the blues, and then you would terminate it on the, uh, the blue pair, so you don't need to remove any of this, you would just go onto this side here, on the outgoing side, white up the top and then the blue wire underneath so white blue up top blue wire underneath and now we've connected the main incoming black cable the blue pair onto the blue pair going to this particular flat and again you would cable tie you would cable tie this cable to one of the positions and then you do it again if you had another cable going off to another flat you would connect the blue one to pair two and then the next one to pair three, pair four, and so on. So basically that's how the, uh, the, this BoxCon works. BoxCon, Box Connection 201. I hope that makes sense, it can be a little bit confusing. But uh, yeah, so it's also known as, a, uh, this is often called a DP. So if you go into a building and if you need to know where the telephones are, often the, the, you would ask uh, 
one of the building manager where the DP is and then this is a 20 pair because it's got 20 pairs. You can also get bigger box cons, uh, a 301 and they're normally on their side and they would have five strips so you could have a 50 pair. You can also get a hundred pair as well so it just depends on how much you need. If it was for a, let's say a, a, you know, a block of flats again then you would, if it was 10 flats in there it means each flat can have two lines per flat so a 20 pair would, uh, would suffice. So that's how you wire up a, a Boxcon 201. Now I'm going to do a, another video on one of these, uh, how you use this for star wiring, because if you were in a new build property now, if you were doing a major renovation, you might be running telephone lines to every single room of the house, and you, it, you might have 10, you might have 12, 15 cables going to the understairs cupboard or wherever you're going to star wire it from, and there's no real easy way of connecting them all together, because a little BT78s and BT77s, those type of junction boxes, the small little internal junction boxes, you can only connect up to four cables in them. So I'm going to show you how to uh, wire up wire up a box con to allow you to do star wiring in another video, so please check that out. If you need to buy these box cons, they're about 20 odd quid, uh, you can get them from my eBay shop, that's uh, mrtelephone.co.uk. Hope you found the video useful. Thanks very much for your time. Bye now.